THR is the original desktop amp. Now we're releasing the THR2 series with three new models that have more sounds, more power, and new wireless features. We asked a bunch of artists to check them out, and here's what they thought in their own words. I think since I got the THR, I've been actually practicing and playing more guitar on tour because it's such a useful tool. When I got the amp, I was quite immediately taken aback by how interactive it was compared to other things in that ballpark that I'd tried before. It turned out to be like the perfect solution really because for the size that it is, it, it sort of does everything that you would need in that situation. I plugged into it, ended up writing a bunch of music just using the built-in effects. I found it really inspiring. I play maybe 150 shows a year worldwide, uh, different amps, you know, different scenarios, but every day there's a TSR involved in my work. I wish I had gotten one sooner because it really changed the way I was able to practice because I think up to that point I would practice a lot with an electric guitar unplugged but actually having a THR I was able to get really great real guitar sounds at a super low volume. You can also open it up it's got a decent amount of gain and volume that you can feel like you're playing a real amp. The tone controls were very interactive it was like a real amp. It had middle control that actually worked. Uh, you know, it had an EQ that made sense. The different amp sounds not just sound like they should, they reacted the way they should. The sound makes me want to practice, makes me want to warm up. It makes me want to write songs if it sounds great. There's really a big variety of sounds and effects in there. Being able to have a sound that's really close to what I use live is a game changer for me. And to have it at a quiet volume where I'm not totally bumming out the rest of the band, that's even a bigger plus. And it's really nice not having to have my board out and just to dial that in on the amp. I use a lot of the other features in it, like playing audio through it, to play my metronome through, to play backing tracks through, to play along with Smashing Pumpkin songs when I'm getting ready for a tour. You can plug your computer or your phone into it and you can listen to music and it doesn't sound like you're plugging into a guitar amp. It sounds like you're plugging into a stereo system. And then this new one has Bluetooth and so I'm able to Bluetooth my iPad and work on music that way. And again, no cable clutter, it's great. Now it's wireless. I can sit on my sofa and do it and I don't have to worry about my dog cheering the lead. The Line 6 wireless is a game changer, that system. The technology and the, the protocols they are using, it's a game changer because there is no tone coloration at all. I can't feel and hear the differences at all. Man, this is so cool that it has the rechargeable battery in there because, I mean, part of the reason you want these amps that are small are so that when inspiration strikes, there's nothing holding you back from plugging in and, and figuring things out or working on a new sound or working on a new song or a part. No more cables, not from your phone, not from your guitar. You know, that's really cool. It's just so convenient that it has all these things built into it. I think in terms of bringing an amp on the road, I would definitely go with this THR for the next tour I have in a few days. I'm really looking forward to taking the new THR on the road with me. And in fact, I would say that if I really count the amount of hours I play guitar, I probably play through a THR more than I play through my regular guitar rig that I use on stage. So it's really an important part of my everyday musical experience. When I think about it, there isn't an amp I play more than the THRs. I love it. Bravo. Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Tony Campanova from Line 6, and today I want to tell you about the new Spider 5 Mark II. This is the best sounding Spider amp we've ever made, with all new presets featuring vintage amp sounds voiced by renowned amp builder Dan Bull. With basic presets designed to make it easy to plug and play, Spider 5 Mark II takes the guesswork out of finding the sounds that every guitarist wants. All Spider 5 Mark II models provide you with a sonic canvas that is ready to be colored with any combination of 78 amp models, 23 cab models, and 101 effects models designed to inspire your sonic explorations. 
Spider 5 Mark II also gives you the choice to select between classic and full range speaker settings. Selecting classic mode will provide a traditional combo amp playing experience that most guitarists are accustomed to. Selecting full range will create a broader, produced sound, which is also great for creating acoustic guitar presets. These amps sound great, and the 120, 240, and 240HC are perfect for live gigs. All models feature built-in tuner, metronome, real drum loops, and are optimized for FBV3 foot controller support to get the most out of your Spider 5 Mark II. The 60, 120, 240, and 240HC also feature a built-in looper and wireless receiver for use with the Relay G10, making practice or performance cable-free with the easiest wireless system ever created. During live performances, you may want to go direct from your amp to front of house, eliminating the need for a guitar mic. For this, the 120, 240, and 240HC models feature left and right XLR outputs. These outputs will be unaffected by your master volume, so you can set your own stage volume while giving front of house the ability to mix independently. One of my favorite features on these amps is the ability to interface directly into your DAW via the USB port located on the back of the amp. Simply select Spider 5 as your input device in your DAW and you're ready to go. No mic needed. With Spider 5 remote software available on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android, you can edit your tones while you record. You can also access the cloud and download presets created in the Spider 5 community. Whether building your own unique presets, using stripped down basic amp models, or exploring custom presets created by renowned guitarists such as Osnoy, Jeff Loomis, and many others, the Spider 5 Mark II family of amps solves all the problems for today's guitarists, regardless of skill level or effort. Hey there, Brian Ewald here at the PRS Factory, and I'm pleased to introduce you today to the brand new Sanzera family of amplifiers. There's three amps in the line. There's a 112 20-watt combo, a 50-watt head, and this here that we're going to look at today is the 50-watt 112 combo. It's got a Celestion V-type speaker in it. It's powered by EL34s. Uh, with 50 watts, it's got plenty of headroom give you a lot of clean headroom as a, for a great pedal platform. Um, you know, the nice thing with a combo is it's a single grab and go. You can pick it up in one trip and you've got your whole amp if, if you're not into taking a head in a cabinet. But with the 50 watt, you still have as much power as you would have in the head. Uh, and of course, you could pair this with an extension cabinet if you wanted to. Plenty of ins and outs on the back of this if you want to pair it with a, a second cabinet. There's four 8 and 16 ohm taps. Um, it's a great sounding amp. Super versatile. It's uh, a, even though it has a lot of gain, it's a very, very different voice than the Archon and the two-channel custom. Uh, something brand new to the PRS line. You've got. Two completely separate channels with separate EQ, uh, separate bright switches, even separate reverb knobs for each channel, which is really nice. It's not an all or nothing on either. You can dial your clean tone in really wet and have your lead tone completely dry or with a little reverb. It's a really nice uh, feature. There is a global presence, uh, which is nice to have, which works in the power amp stage. So presence control is always global. A uh, mini toggle in the center that will give you your channel switches or of course it is foot switchable. It's a two function foot switch which will switch the reverb on and off or switch between the channels. It's a, it's a great, great design. A whole new voice for the PRS line. Uh, both the clean channel and the lead channel really sound like they're part of the same amplifier. They don't sound like one clean amp and one totally different voice dirty amp. It sounds like you're playing through the same amp and it's just pushing it and driving it the way a lot of classic vintage amps would feel like.
Hey, I'm Doug Doppler, and on behalf of Orange Amps, it's my pleasure to introduce you to the Microterra and PPC 108 cabinet. Besides the obvious portability factor, the thing I love about this amp is it's got for real tone. The 12AX7 does a great job of responding to your fingertips. <laughs> And the 20 watts of solid state power means there's enough headroom to get a wide range of tones in places where volume and space is an issue. So for this first demo, I've got the guitar in the number four pickup selection with the volume, tone, and gain controls on the amp all set at high noon for something in the clean end of things. One of the things I like about this amp is it does a really good job of taking pedals in the front end. And I'm going to add the Analog Man ARDX20 analog delay for a little bit of ambience. <coughs> So for this last demo, I've got the guitar in the bridge position and I've taken the amp back to the settings you heard at the very top of the video. I've got the volume control set at 9 o'clock, the tone control set at 1 o'clock, and the gain set at 3 o'clock. Now I'm doing something interesting with the rig here. The Microterra is capable of powering not only the PPC-108, but also this 412 cabinet as well. So taking advantage of the stereo field, I've got this guy on the left side, this one on the right side. On behalf of Orange Amps, thanks so much for checking out the Microterra and PPC-108.